Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This patient was referred to us because of a complaint of excessive wear of her teeth. She has no complaints of her joints or her muscles. So it's basically one of excessive wear of the teeth for the age of the patient. Some of the facets of wear which are present here are outside of the range of function. And we'll try to, as well as an excessive amount of contact on a balancing side. Close a little, please. Close back teeth together. This is in centric occlusion. Could you please come right lateral, please. Hold it. You can see at this point that her posterior teeth are making contact. And notice the facet of wear on the distal buccal cusp and the distal cusp of the first molar. There's still contact when she goes further lateral. And then we lose contact in the very posterior teeth. Still, the patient has facet the wear on that lower cuspid and maxillary cuspid, as you can see when she moves back towards centric occlusion. Notice that little opening that occurs. Back out again. Notice that little tripping there. And that's due to a balancing interference on the left side, which we will now show you. This is the balancing side interference of the lingual cusp of the maxillary second molar. See the cusp tip making contact, but none of the other cusps on that side are hitting. Close your back teeth together slowly. Back out again, again, back again, back out. It's at this point that the teeth on the working side come out of contact. And that's why this is a balancing interference and may well be the cause of her bruxism. Close back again, please. Go sideways once more, please. Back again. Now to right working. Left working. Hold it right there. Back again. She does not have a balancing interference in left working. This patient obviously has excessive wear in far lateral movements and the balancing interference is probably the main occlusal trigger factor for her bruxism and the excessive wear of the teeth. Treatment for this patient would be the elimination of premature contacts and the balancing interferences and then if this did not control bruxism, we would go to a bite plane splint.
You have been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.